morning, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on September 18th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew. Starting out here, of course, looking at our sun. Still very quiet, heading into solar cycle 25. One sunspot to be recorded in the past six weeks. Very strange, the quiet sun. But for those who follow solar cycles, you would know that we'd be expecting this. We are on the verge of a grand solar minimum cycle, elongated to quite possibly 40 years. Now, I want to give a big shout out here to my friend J Dog, a hockey playing friend of mine, lives on the BC coastline. Always keeping you aware and prepared, my friend. Kudos to you, buddy. Talk to you soon. Starting here, looking at a 5.4 in the Atlantic Ocean, and that was from yesterday. We saw a 5.4 ring off South Bouvet Island as well. Around the planet we go, 4.6 here in Iraq, 4.2 in Afghanistan. And then, wow, look at the Philippines and Papua New Guinea. Fives and fours. Definitely some large movement here today. Papua New Guinea, 5.3 most recently. Look at all these earthquakes. I would call this an earthquake swarm. This is all in the last 12 hours. And then a deep earthquake here. In Fiji, 537 kilometer depth. So watch for a larger, shallower earthquake to follow. Still watching a small swarm in Alaska. And small earthquakes still ringing off California. Here we got a 3.3 in Kansas. That's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Let's have a look at the last seven days. Still seeing a large, deep earthquake movement. Numerous deep earthquake movement around the planet, especially west side of the Ring of Fire, South America. Please stay aware and prepared. Have a plan and be ready for these disasters when they strike. Have a go bag. Have a generator. Have some stored water. It's better to be safe than sorry. Let's get to tropical storm images now, as we do have quite a few storms. The Atlantic and Pacific, five named storms, and one named tropical depression. So we're going to start out here with Imelda. And Imelda is the Gulf of Mexico Tropical Depression. Heading into Houston, Texas right now. Galveston. Heading straight north towards Springtown. Miss J, heads up. This storm could possibly bring 20 inches of rain. It looks like it's dying down already, though. And now we're looking at Tropical Storm Humberto, who is still gaining strength and is a Category 3 today. And then will be downgraded again. And then we have Tropical Storm Barry. Or sorry, Jerry. Tropical Storm Jerry, who I think is going to be a very strong and large storm. Caribbean, Dominican Republic, you all need to be on watch for this storm. It's going to be a story maker for sure. And then overlooking the East Pacific here, we're looking at one, two, three tropical storms. And two right off the coastline of Mexico. So West coastline of Mexico, stay aware and prepared. Two storms on your coastline. Tropical Storm Mario. 
and as well Kiko and Lorena. Looking at the Pacific Disaster Center here, it is riddled with disaster icons from floods, droughts, and fires, volcanoes, and of course, hurricanes, tropical storms. So there is Kiko, Mario, and Imelda. Imelda is in the Gulf of Mexico. And then Tropical Storm Lorena, East Pacific Coastline. Tropical Storm Jerry, who's following the same line that Dor uh, Dorian and Humberto followed. Looking at the situation here in Brazil, still many fires going off. Wildfires being reported all the way down to Paraguay. And quick look at the volcanoes that have been updated as well. Especially after that earthquake swarm today in the Philippines and Papua New Guinea. You need to stay aware. You could have some volcanic eruptions as well. So no new volcanoes to report. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike, overlooking a large low-pressure system here. Over Taiwan, we'll be moving north-northeast into South Japan and Korea. But there is a deluge of moisture associated with this storm. Definitely going to be a story maker as well for South Japan and even parts of Korea. Overlooking the East Pacific, large high pressure ridge in place, really ramping up a large low pressure system heading into Alaska and Northern BC. Watch for heavy rains and winds the next three days. Here are the trajectories for the three, tro three tropical storms, the East Pacific, Mario, Lorena, and Kiko. And then Tropical Depression, Imelda. As you can see here, forecast shows two days and then it will diminish. So definitely uh, stay aware and prepared. Flash flooding in Texas and Houston, they're already seeing flooding conditions. Then overlooking the Atlantic Ocean, Tropical Storm Jerry and Humberto. It looks like Humberto might actually make it all the way to the United Kingdom later in the week, which is so pretty crazy. These uh, hurricanes aren't supposed to be making it to the North Pole. Huge low pressure system with many vortices wrapped in it, affecting United Kingdom and into Russia later in the week. We'll be bringing some heavy amounts of snow in Russia and as well the United Kingdom, coastline of the Atlantic Ocean, North Atlantic. I want to thank everybody for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, where I post my severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world, keeping you aware and prepared. Please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Make sure you're receiving all notifications. And I appreciate everybody supporting. Much love to you all. God bless humanity. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.